So far we've only been calculating the voltage at standard conditions. We can use the Nernst equation to calculate the voltage under non-standard conditions. So without the superscript zero, that's the voltage of the cell, we have the reaction quotient Q, the number of moles of electrons lost or gained again, and we also have the standard voltage in this formula. So for example, here's a reaction that we could use the standard reduction potentials to calculate the standard cell voltage. And in this case, the standard cell voltage works out to be a positive 3, 3, 4 volts. Now that's only when the concentrations are standard concentrations, one mole per liter for solutions, one atmosphere or one bar for gases. If we want to use the Nernst equation to calculate the voltage when the iron is 2 molar and the magnesium is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Under non-standard conditions, the voltage will be the standard voltage minus the constant 0 0.0592 divided by N, and we can find N for this reaction. Notice the iron goes from a positive 3 down to 0, so the iron had to gain 3 electrons, and the magnesium is being oxidized from neutral to a positive 2, so it had to lose 2 electrons. 3 electrons are gained, 2 electrons are lost. When you write the overall reaction, you have to multiply by a factor to make those the same. The smallest number they have in common is 6. So 6 moles of electrons are lost, 6 moles of electrons are gained. And then we have log of Q. For this reaction, solids don't show up just like they don't show up in K. So we have the concentration of the product raised to the power of 3 divided by the reactant raised to the power of 2. So if you substitute in the concentrations, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 molar in the numerator, 2 molar in the denominator, you can calculate the voltage under these conditions. It's going to be a little bit higher than the standard voltage. It works out to be 2.42 volts.